Love the call by the offensive coordinator, recognizing the situation very well, calling for the play-action pass and completing it. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got time. Forced out to his left. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and it'll be second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. Here's Newton now on second down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. The tight end, Ed Dixon, was the target. Third down here. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right, the overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. That's such a close game, a very big one. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. The interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. And that'll be incomplete. The defensive coordinator came into this game with a plan to get to the quarterback with whatever type of pressure is necessary. It's working to perfection for him today. Second and ten now. Back to the air, Newton on second down. It's complete to Brown, right side. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. On third and one, it seems natural to just turn and hand it to the biggest guy you have in the backfield. But usually, he's not the primary runner. So for the defense, they're often keying on the running back because he's the guy who gets the ball more often, and the fullback is the blocker. When he ends up carrying the football, that's a heck of a tendency breaker. And now you're just trying to jump on his back and hold on. They go play action here on first down. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. And the offense readies for play number 10 of this series. Stewart is the lone setback. To throw on second down is Newton. Toward the center the field but it's incomplete and that incompletion was caused by the defense I think they were trying to get one into the middle of the field trying to find a receiver there but they were in zone defense and what are the advantages of being in zone eyes and reaction eyes meaning all eyes are on the and now the Vikings are going to stop it here on defense with a timeout it's just their first they'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter Just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Newton. Greg Olson was the intended target. Now fourth down. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. But for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. That'll go down as just a 20-yard punt. And the Vikings will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. And the 
first play of the drive goes to McKinnon. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Second down throw for Bridgewater. And Rudolph has it left side. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. They'll get 16 yards there. And it'll be first down Vikings. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. He's up to about the 37. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Now with a play clock at four, we're going to get a timeout call. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. Let's go. Now McKenna, and he was able to. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And here comes play number six on this drive. They come out here in the eye. McKinnon. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The Panthers are going to take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play.
Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Bridgewater to throw. Screenplay, McKinnon. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Victory formation time for the Vikings as they'll take a knee here. Victory formation time for the Vikings as they'll take a knee here. in memory the Panthers have made uptown Charlotte a very tough place to come into and get a victory.